Hi everyone, it is Raven2008 um, or hellokaren.org if you follow my blog. I wanted to let you guys know a little update of what's been going on. I know I am so sorry. I keep recording things and then I never and then I never upload them. So my bad, 100%. I am so so sorry. Um, I, I also have to apologize because I look like crap. Um, I actually went out for an hour and a half walk today. It wasn't a very far walk, but it was it was still a victory in and of itself because usually this time of year my asthma is so horrible that I absolutely cannot walk anywhere. Like it's end of story. I'm gonna have an asthma attack, and that's the end of it. So, so that's that. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, that I did go through with the appointment for gastric bypass surgery and I am now in month three of the pre-op um, checklist and signifying this I have gotten the white binder and the book. This is the book that I have to read as a requirement. It looks, it looks like this and this is the woman before and this is the woman after gastric bypass so this is required reading I just got it Monday and I'm on page 10 because I'm also trying to do schoolwork as well um, but and it, it's like her story and the decisions that she's went through and everything so that people that way people can make an informed decision and not have to go any further into the process um, then there's this too. As you can see, my hospital is Geisinger. Um, I have um, I have everything here that I need to do, but these two pages here are the most important. These are the checklists that. Which ones? All right, this is the first one. This is checklist number one of just the steps to bariatric surgery. This is to make sure that you are fully prepared. Okay, it looks like this. And for the first month, you have the initial consultation with the physician, physician's assistant, or the nurse practitioner. I actually had it with one of the physicians who's also a nutritionist. Um, I will call my insurance company to see if bariatric surgery is a covered benefit, and it is. Um, that there's a global fee to the bariatric surgery. Um, because they actually care about you and because they actually want you to succeed. Um, it's a $375 fee that you can make payments with. I got my first pink envelope so I can start making my payments. And um, so I'm really happy about that. And then this, the fourth thing was that if you're a smoker, you have to quit smoking. Um, I have never really been a serious smoker. I smoked on and off since I was 16. And uh, so never really was a problem for me. The second month I took my, I had my first weigh-in and I lost five pounds, which I thought was really cool. I was really, really happy. And, uh, and I attended my first nutrition class and, uh, and the nutrition class was actually basically just, you're on an 1800 diabetic, an 1800 calorie diabetic type diet. The third month is, I am the third month is behavior class number two, which I've done. Um, I had to get, I got the the book, I got the notebook, and then I have to attend one bariatric support group meeting any month, and uh, so, I've, so I've got, um, for my town, it's the second Wednesday of the month, of the month at 6 p.m., and I've got to call the person in charge, and uh, so that's the first sheet. The second sheet is... Um, the fourth month is the bariatric medical evaluation, which is an hour and a half. This is my this is um, this is actually the next appointment that I'm going to, and it's with the and it's with the um, clinician, R, the RD, and the physician, and uh, and I have to bring the I have to bring this binder to every single as to every single thing I do from here on out. Um, I have to my next appointment is at 12:30 in the afternoon, and I cannot eat four hours in advance. I can have as much water as I want, but I cannot eat. 
um, and then I have to make, and then after that appointment, they are going to call me to have my psych done, my psych eval done, and then the fifth month is the surgery educational class, which is the third class. I have to take another support, or I have to do another support group meeting, and then the fifth month, I have to, or the final month, I will have achieved my, my goal weight achieved, attended two, two support group meetings, I've gotten the green light from the behavioral medication and registration depart, di dietitian, bariatric program fee has been completed, passed the written test, the letter, of, the letter for insurance approval and or authorization to see the surgeon will be written by the, by the physician after your six month of treatment. Appointment with the surgeon for evaluation and tentative surgery date, surgery date, and then two week liquid diet before the surgery. And, uh, and then it goes on to the, pa the behavior classes. Um, I've got to, <clears throat> I've got to sip my water. I've got to chew my food 30 times or to, to an applesauce-like consistency. I have to, um, like, I have to measure, pre-measure all of my food. And I am such a horrible person when it comes to math. So I actually bought the Biggest Loser's food scale so that I could measure out my food. And Aldi's has these, um, steaks. They're like flanks, flank steaks or top steaks. Anyway, um, they're lean and they're like, um, up 1.5, 1.5 ounces. And, uh, which is great because I'm only allowed three ounces of meat in a day or in a meal, which I, it, it's amazing. Like, um, how, like, it's amazing how sick I feel now when I when I start having junk food like today I today I went to the family dollar and I went to the family dollar hungry I'd walked there and I walked back um, and I went and I went in there with just a little bit hungry I should have eaten lunch before I went or stopped at one of the delis and had like a salad or something before I, before I went there but I ended up getting gummy bears because I was getting that like I'm starting to going I'm starting to go into that I'm gonna pass out stage of jitteriness and I bought chips to kind of just to try to even everything out so I wouldn't go too high of sugar or too high of salt or anything like that big mistake like I feel I honestly feel like crap because I had I broke my diet and I had a little bit of junk food um so yeah but anyway um no straws no carbonated beverages no coffee two weeks before surgery, um, diet guidelines for bariatric surgery, uh, day one, I am going to have nothing but water post-op, um, the stage one is small portions of sugar-free clear liquids, and I actually have a list of things that I am going to, of things that I'm going to be allowed to have, so that's basically all, what all of these, um, green pages are. And uh, I have two pages of what my diet is going to be for the rest of my life. And foods that I can avoid, or that I have to avoid, starches, pastries, croissants, muffins, donuts, cookies, cakes, biscuits, crackers, popcorn, granola, french fries, potato or fried tortilla chips, cheese curls, macaroni and cheese, fettuccine alfredo, which kind of sucks because that's like one of my favorite foods. Cream soups and chowders, regular foods, Kool-Aid fruit drinks, punches, lemonade, fruit juice, alcoholic beverages, regular salad dressings, mayonnaise, butter, regular ma regular margarine, sour cream, cream cheese, olives, regular jello, regular popsicles, candy, ice cream, iced milk, sherbet, pies, pastries, cake, fried fish, fish, canned and oil, commercial commercials or commercially breaded fish products, fried po fried poultry, poultry skin, bacon, sausage, hot dogs, regular cold cuts, tongue, ew, USDA prime grade of meat. Uh, goose, duck, fried eggs, omelets with added fat, peanut butter, nuts, regular, or hard, or soft cheeses. For the rest of my life, I'm not going to be able to have. And then, skip over to this, to this blue part, and, um, and it's basically a study guide for your quiz. And the very last page of the green is your, your metabolism. And then, Center for Nutrition and Weight Management Patient Educational Material. This is what I have to read to take the test. And um, the test is actually 
somewhere in here. And then I have a list of medications that can damage um, your pouch, your stomach pouch after surgery. And then, uh, so I'm gonna have to like, uh, I'm gonna have to um, look at that one. And then I have the educational part of the pamphlet, which is all of this right here. And it literally works like a workbook, and it's a body image, it's stress eating, it's support groups, it's it's everything. Okay, so that's so that's what I've gotten for that, and um, and I'm like I said, I, I've lost eight pounds. I feel like I'm doing really really well. I am really confident. I'm also not in the dating scene anymore. I'm not looking for anybody. Until I can hit my goal weight, I'm not going to look for anybody because I can't trust people to look at me as a person and not as anything else. Um, a sex object, um, the fat girl that's, you know, craving attention, you know, anything like that is, is definitely a no-go. Um, but I can also say that for the first time in my life, I'm happy just the way that I am. And I couldn't, couldn't and wouldn't trade this process for the world. I'm terrified, but I'm so excited all at the same time. Um, now that I've moved and I am 100% completely on my own with nobody living with me, these videos are going to be coming a lot more regularly. And, um, and I just want to say that MyFitnessPal.com is free. It's a weight loss journal where you can track your food, your exercise, your calories, your fat, your proteins, your sugars, just the whole nine yards. And it's a completely free program. And I have made it my bitch. I literally log into this several times a day to make sure that what I'm eating is recorded not only for myself but for my doctors so that way they can understand where I'm coming from in the process. And... um and they can point out, you know, what foods I should be eating, what foods I shouldn't be eating, what foods that I, you know, thought were healthy, but are really not a good idea to eat. So, but anyway, um, post your questions down below. I will answer them to the best of my ability. Um, if you have any negative comments, I've probably heard them all before, so you can just click the X button and, you know, do whatever you need to do to pleasure yourself instead of leaving a comment. I really don't care. Um, I am not a doctor, so if you have any questions about gastric bypass, I can only tell you from my own personal choices and what is good for my body and what is good for my life. I cannot advise you on anything. All that all I can do is advise you to go see a physician. And I urge you greatly to go see a physician because this is honestly what is going to save my life. This is honestly what is going to change my life and this is what is going to make it better for my children, you know, when I have them, for just my life in general. I hope you all are well and I hope you all are, are doing the best that you can with what you've got. Have a nice day.